Welcome to VectorVest special presentation, this week titled From Watchlist to Wealth, Harnessing Alerts and Portfolio Manager. Watchlists are a powerful tool to rank and analyze stocks. That's why we suggest new users start with VectorVest by building a watchlist of their stocks to learn how VectorVest ranks and analyzes the stocks you own. Portfolio Manager supercharges your watchlist with the ability to create alerts, track the performance of your stocks and your portfolio over time. Tonight, I want to show you how and why you should get started moving from Watchlist to Wealth with Portfolio Manager. Let's get started. I want to focus tonight on the process of using Portfolio Manager, so I wanted to share some resources with you if you need a little bit of remedial help. First of all, the Successful Investing Quick Start course. If we go into the program, both of these resources on the Training tab the Successful Investing Quick Start course, Lessons 1 and 2, go through the VectorVest VST system and help you build that watch list. Also, under the Software How-To Videos button, these are some navigational and usage tutorials that Glenn Tompkins did for us. They are excellent, and of course, you can click on the appropriate tab. In this case, Portfolio is down here in Session 12. So let's pick up the narrative from this point. We've created our watch list. We've analyzed our stocks in the VST system. How can the portfolio manager help me track and manage the performance of these stocks? So for the basket of stocks, I thought I would just go to the viewers tab where we have the watch list, of course. And in our successful investing coaching group, we do the weeding the garden exercise every week. So I thought let's just use that watch list. So I'm going to go to the watch list viewer. And here is the weeding exercise that we did last, actually yesterday, in our coaching session. Let me put the toolbar out of the way. And of course, because it was the weeding exercise, these are stocks that the members of the group presented for us to review on whether or not we needed to cull them from the portfolio. But a couple lessons here, just from a quick review of what we do in that VST analysis. We have the RV, RS, RT values for each of the stocks, their VST score, of course, that's the default ranking, their buy, sell, hold rating, and of course, all the other metrics you would see in the stock viewer. On the bottom is the average for all of those. So with an RV at 1.02, RS at 0.96, very close to one and one. So slightly leaning toward aggressive here. But overall, here's the biggest concern is the portfolio with an RT value of 0 0.80 is in decline. It's in downtrend. So, of course, in our weeding exercise, we would resort our list by RT and focus our attention on any stocks whose RT value has fallen below 1, and particularly those at the bottom of the list that are in the strongest decline, particularly if they've received a sell rating in the VectorVest system. But all of that is a manual process, and of course, we're not tracking the performance of these stocks over time. Now, I want to incorporate this idea of time, so I'm actually going to back up our timestamp. To the end of day low on the 17th. This was the most recent low on the VVC. And let's add these to the portfolio on that date. So we'll click Quick Folio All. Let's give it a name. We'll use our default $100,000 account size. No commissions. I hope you don't pay any either. Purchasing long. We'll not put any stop criteria in at this point, although we could select a stop from the selection in VectorVest, but we'll just click OK for now and create the portfolio. I'm going to click Open Portfolio now. So now we've moved over to the Portfolios tab. We've created our portfolio. And here are the 10 stocks in that portfolio. And notice that the program automatically evenly distributed our buying power across those 10 positions. And so each of them has a cost basis of just about or just under $10,000. And so a nice feature or function of that 
automation is it'll help you with position sizing if you want to buy ten thousand dollars of caterpillar it says buy 36 shares so very easy to do also a very flexible tool you can right click within the portfolio and you can change the layout of the portfolio manager to include any of these other fields fairly standard for vector vest up above we have the equity curve of the portfolio over time and that's why I back this up so I could show you some time frame for the portfolio's performance over this period and of course we didn't apply any stops I did that also purposefully to build that curve currently we have three hundred thirty six dollars of buying power in the portfolio Got a little bump today in today's up market but overall the portfolio is down a half a percent in this time frame so now we're tracking the performance of the portfolio all the stocks aggregated together but we're also tracking the performance of the individual stocks with their individual gain or loss if I need to make any changes to the position sizing or position details to match my portfolio with the brokerage I simply go to the reports function view the transaction log and here are each of those transactions and I can simply click on the transaction I want to edit and with the edit function change the date and time now I can't go any earlier than the time I created the portfolio so make sure you think about that when you create your portfolio in VectorVest but here's the action we bought rum long at seven dollars twenty four cents well maybe I only paid maybe I only paid 702 or maybe I only bought 1380 shares I come to the bottom and click OK and I make the adjustment click OK and it adjusts the transaction in the portfolio so now I'm keeping the portfolio manager in sync with my brokerage account but I also get to now use the tools in VectorVest that aren't available with the brokerage and that includes automating our stop losses one of the powerful features of using stop losses within the portfolio manager is that the portfolio manager can generate and send you alerts to activate that function the first thing we want to do is go up to the tools button and go into the application settings on the alerts tab we can generate alerts and we can specify the areas of the VectorVest program that we want to alert so if I click on the first position here so let's click edit anytime an order is generated I want an email alert or a text message alert and of course I can make an alert for each methodology I'll use email here and put my email address in and specify the alerts that I want to go to that email address I'll click OK check boxes tell me what I have activated and we'll click OK so now alerts are activated so I'll get an alert within the VectorVest program and the program will also send an alert to my email address so next we need to turn on the automation and for that we use the portfolio genius if I click the edit button I want to build a custom trading system and we're not going to automate the searching for and buying of stocks I simply want to automate the selling of my stocks with my chosen stop loss so I'm going to turn off market timing I'm going to go to my automation rules and for my search in my fill mode I'm going to choose none in other words hey VectorVest don't go out and run searches and populate new positions simply apply my stop criteria so I have all of these from which to choose so they need to do a little homework here but let's just keep it simple along with that weeding exercise let's just set 
the recommendation equals sell as our stop loss. Click finish. So very simple automation going on here, only applying stops to the positions that exist in the portfolio. Well, what do you want it to do when the position meets the stop criteria? I could have it just send the alert or I can have it close the position and send the alert. I can have it check throughout the market day or I can have it just check after the close, kind of an end of day approach. And of course, turn the genius on and off, which is a way to pause it once you have created the portfolio. So I'm going to turn it on because I want to see some trading activity and show you what those alerts look like. So let's hit save. And we're going to apply that stop criteria to the positions that currently exist in the portfolio. Little caution triangles let us know. See the alerts popping up? Portfolio Manager Demo Portfolio just closed all of those trades. Here's the activity log since the last time we logged in. And you can see all of those stocks that closed out because they had a sell rating within the VectorVest system. That was our stop loss. Another neat feature related to that, let's go back into edit and I'm going to turn the genius off for a moment. Go back into edit. I want to edit that stop loss. So I'm going to customize my trading system. Let's change our stop loss to something that needs a calculated value. So let's say a trailing stop of 10%. I click finish. I turn the genius on. Apply to my positions. And now instead of recommendation equals sell, we'll be using that trailing stop. We've got the yellow caution lights as it's calculating. Here's the update. So now I actually get a dollar and cent value that I can enter with my brokerage. So when I'm using a calculated stop loss, I actually get those values that I can update make, uh, manually. And remember, I have this set up so that it actually closed the positions when the stop loss was met. But I could have it just send the alert so that I can execute the trades manually at the, uh, at the same time. And I can adjust the trade log to match my pricing with my brokerage. So now those positions have been closed. What about when I need to add positions to the portfolio? Well, there are several ways to do that. Let's first of all think of the process. Well, I might go back to the stock viewer. And consider top VST stocks. Now, of course, we don't have green lights in the color guard. This is not a time to be buying stocks in the marketplace currently, but the process is the same. I consider my top VST stocks. Do something here a little more prudent. Let's go with Sterling Infra. If I right click on Sterling, I can add it to a portfolio. Portfolio Manager Demo. That's the portfolio I want. Click Next. I want to buy it long and I want to spend $10,000, the average for the portfolio. Click Next. Click Open Portfolio Now and there's Sterling added to the portfolio appropriately sized for my $10,000 value. I can also add positions manually by simply clicking Add Trade. Oops, telling me I need to turn off the genius, so let's turn off the genius. Now we'll add a trade. We're going to buy long, and I'm going to be creative and buy a share of Agilent. Its current price is 118.77. Again, I want to put into the investment now $10,000. Apply it to the list. I can build a list of transactions, but I'm going to click OK. Do you want to place that trade? I do. And it adds Agilent to the portfolio. 
And you know, I just realized that I spelled manager wrong. So easy to fix. Come back to the portfolios tab. I can edit the portfolio and I can do a spell check. Did you notice, by the way, it automatically input a description of a timestamp of when that portfolio was created. Okay, closing the toolbar, of course, we can come back and we can see some other important details. Of course, I can buy while well, I can also close. So I can open positions. Of course, I can also close positions easily. And it knows which positions, which long positions are available in the portfolio to close. So it helps me there. I can also, under Manage Portfolio, make cash adjustments to the portfolio. I can also add interest and dividend payments to the portfolio. So I can really now start tracking pretty closely the performance of my portfolio in VectorVest with my portfolio at the brokerage. But let's make the turn of why would I want to do that? Well, because I'm getting some information here that my brokerage typically doesn't provide. First of all, an equity curve of the portfolio performance over time. But if you're familiar with the phrase knowledge is power, there are some analytical tools that can really take your trading to the next level. By the way, I'm just noticing that I bought STRL in my alerts. I have those recorded historically, so I've seen them, the alerts clear, but let's turn to the reports function and let's start with trade history because of course the reports are built on this trade history. Here we are in spreadsheet format, all the closed positions. Now we saw, we saw, we closed all of these at 10 20 this morning when I activated the alerts. But here is the net gain or loss in dollars and cents and on a percentage basis. And of course, it's important to know both. Here's some of the trade details, how many shares we bought and the extended costs. I like to counsel people to sort by percent first. And there's a couple things I'm looking for here. First of all, did I have any big outliers in turn on a percentage basis? And of course, we'll look at the same thing on a net basis here as well. But I also can easily see my balance of winners, four winners, two losers. Even when the list gets long, I can get a visual representation without doing any analytics of do I have a positive hit rate on this trading system. Now I can export this data on a CSV file basis so that I can do some spreadsheet work if I like. But before you go to that length, let's go back to our reports button and look at our summary report. Because there's some really good information here that helps us become successful investors. We need to do a couple things. First of all, we'd want to win more than we lose. So we need a hit rate, a positive hit rate. Even if we get a little bit upside down, as long as our average winner is greater than our average loser, we can still be profitable. We also want to know if we had any large outlier mistakes, either positive or negative, but particularly losses that impacted the profitability of the portfolio and how consistent we are in our application of our rules. So looking at our current values, we currently are up 12 hundredths of a point of a percent, but here's where it gets more important. So we have the overall gain loss of the portfolio and we have the gain loss year to date. Obviously some very important top line numbers. In our trade history, I'm going to roll down here. We of of our closed positions, we've had four winners, two losers for a 66% win percentage. Overall, including our currently open positions, we're 50-50. In terms of the outliers, our best winner was TSLL up 1,080. Our biggest loser, INDI, down 1099. Scrolling lower, we come to some charts to help us visually represent that performance. 
And we also have some charts that help us see on our current positions how well diversified we are by both position size and industry. So those are the two tools that I use in the reporting function regularly. There's one other that I use though. If I go back to my toolbar, if I click on Portfolios Home and look at the portfolio performance, I can see a top line performance for my portfolio. So here we are, Portfolio Manager Demo. It shows me the total value for the account, the percentage of winning trades, the percentage gain and loss for the portfolio, commission load, annualized rate of return, the compounded rate of return, and the maximum drawdown for the portfolio. So remember, maximum drawdown is the biggest pullback from a portfolio high to the trough, as opposed to the average drawdown. This was the max pain for the history of the portfolio. And of course, if you're in a portfolio that had a max drawdown of 46%, there is trouble in River City. And bottom line, that's the benefit I'm proposing for the portfolio manager. It keeps score. It helps us monitor and regulate our performance over time in real time. And by extension, identifies for me early areas where I need to focus my attention. And speaking of attention, I thank you for giving me yours, and I hope I've shown you how watchless are powerful tools, but when you amplify that power with the power of the VectorVest Portfolio Manager, you can really supercharge your results. So let's get you started moving from watchless to wealth with the Portfolio Manager. Thanks for watching.